What's good, y'all? So I'm back with another video, and um, I want to discuss what's going on in your current or present life at this moment. Um, from what I'm getting, it seems as though that someone's in some type of relationship. And once a new setting, a new living setting, maybe they, maybe you might have some toxic uh, family members or outside forces that was possibly in your neighborhood or your community, warning bad or wishing ill intent on you guys' relationship causing chaos and conflict, but you have or want to move to common water away from these people who's causing all this chaos and conflict you really need to step into your uh power and own your shit because that's not what you're doing right now happy sad you're in a position where you need to step into your power and own your shit as far as this relationship go let motherfuckers know what it is or what it ain't. You feel what I'm saying? Don't sit up here and um allow outside forces to take control over your relationship. You know, we got the Knight of Swords um in reverse. And that's telling me that um you're not fighting for this relationship like you should. You need to be defending your lover and protecting your family or whatever the case may be and Believe in what the fuck you feel. Stop uh, being scared or in fear about losing the person that you with because of past uh, mistakes or present mistakes. You're in fear of losing this relationship because of outside forces. So uh, you in fear of getting in tune with these motherfuckers and you sick of it. Now you done ran out of patience and you're ready to move around type shit you need to move around you wasn't determined at first but now you're determined to move around or whatever the case may be you feel what i'm saying and try to um make your connection with the person that you're with much stronger you feel what i'm saying so you're going to be leaving these toxic people who have been gossiping about y'all finances, y'all love life, um, talking shit about your kids or whatever the case may be, um, your work, whatever it may be that you do for work. There's just been a lot of gossiping and chaos and conflict behind your back that you don't even really know of. You feel what I'm saying? And you might have an idea, but you don't know how deep this shit really is. You feel what I'm saying? And you always need to remember that misery love company. You can't never think that a motherfucker don't want what you got. Some people just are that miserable that they really don't want to see you happy. They don't want you to get ahead. They want don't want you to do better than what they're doing. You feel what I'm saying? So you're choosing to leave this community and possibly these uh family members or friends or whoever this is in y'all business all the fucking time who always got some shit to say you're most definitely gonna step into your power and leave behind because you don't have time for gossip and conflict and pain and sorrow you feel what i'm saying and fear and pity or whatever you know this is the person that you're ordained to be with. You're in love with this person. You got to go through to get through. So you're packing up and you're making sure that you protect what's yours. You're not letting outside forces come in and run you until you got to run your shit. Stand on your shit, on your shit when it comes to this relationship. You know you're in love with this person. And the angels are protecting y'all. The most high in the universe is protecting y'all from these outside forces, these people who don't want to see y'all make it. These people on the outside are very controlling and manipulative. 
you may go vent to these uh, people and they be all for you basically leaving this relationship type shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they gossip about y'all on the day to day. You feel what I'm saying? They don't want no happiness for either one of y'all. Like, they was hoping that this relationship will most definitely fail. They watch our relationship on social media or online, or if you have some type of own um, platform. We got devil. They stress the fuck out all the time because they miserable at the love that y'all really have for each other. And it says pain is in love. So they cause pain. Talking about uh, it's all love. They cause pain and shit on you. You feel what I'm saying? They most definitely is not happy about your relationship or your choice or the person that you choose to uh, be in love with or whatever the case may be. So they spread gossip, put uh, lies and dirt on your name because obviously something had happened in the past between you and your lover and these people on the outside looking in was expecting this situation to basically, you know, end y'all forever type shit. But regardless of who, what the situation and circumstances is, you feel me? This person is basically saying, I'd rather be with you. <laughs> regardless of what they saying, I'd rather be with you. You feel what I'm saying? At my highs, at, at my highs, my lows, my darkest moments, you know, my darkest secrets. We're best friends. We're intertwined. Our souls is one. You feel what I'm saying? And we got cold. You're going to date homeless. They're going to be left in the cold for trying to tear this uh, relationship that's ordained from the most high. So set up. So there was um family and friends that was involved in this relationship or co-workers, or could be the whole family that most definitely could be your boss or people at your job that most definitely wanted to see this relationship and this connection fail. And this is not just about sex. This is not just a connection based off sex. This is a pure connection. This uh, was ordained from the most high, the universe, and nobody can break it. Y'all was used as a vessel to show people how to love, give love, and receive love, and be open to love. Spell returns to sender. So, yes, a lot of outside stubborn forces who uh wanted y'all to in this relationship. You feel what I'm saying? You almost start believing that the, the shit these motherfuckers and the lies and Shit that they was trying to do in the rituals and the black magic they was trying to do on y'all relationship, on y'all finances, on y'all sex life, on y'all love life. You feel what I'm saying? This is a relationship. So uh, these people basically wanted everything that you have. You feel what I'm saying? They wanted your house, your home, your lover. The, the job opportunities you had, the gifts you had, you feel what I'm saying? These outside forces play mind games with both of you and your lover or whoever you're in this serious relationship with. There was a sister involved in this. There was a, a cousin that was involved in this evil um black spell or black or uh, magic spell that was returned back to a sender. So you're leaving and um, taking your family and you're going to be relocating into a better community with like-minded people who's like you, who you can trust because, you know, like I say, always, it's always the ones that love you closest to you that hurt you. There was an uncle also involved. So it could have been a whole family basically against you who did black magic, bro. The evil intent and you want a peace of mind. Like you can't sleep at night. You feel what I'm saying? Because you can't trust these motherfuckers. One minute they support y'all connection and y'all love life and 
they oh that's so cute you feel what i'm saying when it comes to certain shit on the outside looking in but low-key they in the crib like damn i wish they break up i thought what happened or what they been through is gonna cause them to break up a long time ago but they just keep fucking going back to each other i can't stand that connection their relationship i can't tell if that shit genuine or not man i wish i had that type shit that's what motherfuckers saying but all they have to do is uh, heal, uh, do some inner child healing, and operate out their heart chakra out they, uh, from their heart and stop being envious and evil towards you. And they can receive as much love as you get and give out. They got to learn from what they see. You leaving this family and these outside forces behind. You've been had a change of heart about these family members and friends. You knew that uh that uh you used to second guess and doubt this connection and question if this connection is real because you was listening to people who are that are made of uh darkness, outside forces looking in, trying to bring y'all connection down. You feel what I'm saying? Hoping and questioning and doubting if y'all gonna stay together. You feel what I'm saying? Like, some people thought the connection wasn't even genuine because maybe there could be an age gap in between y'all type shit. But you most definitely had a change of heart about these friends and family members and outside forces. Who was on the outside looking in type shit. And you uh, moving around. You getting sick of Waking up, being around fake motherfuckers who really don't fuck with you, who's done these spells. So you're making up, you're busting and moving, and, and you're going to move in silence and leave um, people, places, and things that don't no longer serve you behind type shit. There could have been some people involved, organized crime and sex trafficking and some more. So there could have been some people trying to exploit your child or uh, maybe. Get your child to do toxic or illegal things at a young age. Uh, convince them to smoke or smoke or drink around them or offer them drinks or accidentally get them sick. Just do evil shit out of malicious intent. You feel what I'm saying? Like, have them watch certain things, maybe uh, videos or sex scene and videos or things with a lot of cussing whatever they was trying to do they was trying to possibly grow your child up faster than what they were supposed to be because as you see there is a man a woman and a child in here so not only was these people these outside forces trying to fuck up your connection with your soulmate or whatever the case may be but they was also trying to give your kids drugs and do kids or drugs around your kids, get them to watch uh sexual things or just all types of things that was involved. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, and these are unhealed adults, may I say, who do who engage in partying and drugs a lot. Who is sit in the room and smoke the room out with kids type shit. Raise your vibration and your uh, frequency higher. So this had to happen because you're around low vibrational entities, bro. And you can be male or female, but you're very unhappy. In this family setting, in this neighborhood, you're unhappy with the choices that has been made. The choices that you have made. Um, listening to these people, taking the wrong advice from these people, or people who ain't been through shit, you just ready for a new beginning, a fresh start, you want something new, you want to rekindle your love with the person that you're already with, and telling yourself you de deserve true love and true happiness away from these motherfuckers. So you need to know your value like you can leave these karmic family members and friends behind because they are trying to end y'all connection. They don't want you to have this connection because their connection with their spouse or their lover 
It's causing them to be miserable, so they want you to be miserable and at your lowest vibration with them. These family members and friends suffer a mental illness, like your uh I kept seeing the whole family is involved in trying to end this connection. They all are family full of karmics and narcissistic people and could be on some type of drugs. You know what I'm saying? They really jealous of y'all connection, y'all finances, y'all love life. Um the fact that um Y'all kids probably straight type shit. And they most definitely been um overindulging in a whole bunch of things that they shouldn't be. These family members are shysties where false, false masses want to be you. If the video, if you see at any time, 1202, um, 2202, the year 2022. 2021, anything that deals with that, those numbers or significant to them numbers, just know it's truth behind what I'm saying. There's a whole bunch of people that's involved in far as losing this connection. These people used to use drugs and all types of things to keep you at your lowest vibration, stuck and stagnant like them, but they still fail to realize that you most definitely blessed and highly favored. And regardless of what happens, um, you're going to still basically reach your wish fulfillment. You're going to be successful. You're going to be happy. Your family is protected. You protected. They're going to try to apologize for trying to end this connection and tell you how much they disliked it and didn't approve of it and wish they had everything that you had. They wish they had your life. Jealous friends and family members wish they had what you had because they have no connection with their lover or their spouse or their family member or whoever the case may be. They ain't got no real connection with the people in their household. A lot of addictions to certain shit. You feel what I'm saying? So the secret was they was most definitely trying to end y'all connection type shit. Like, and it's bogus that people would be so selfish and grimy, bro. Selfish. But these people are going to uh, receive karma and be in a um, spiritual jail. Mentally and spiritually and emotionally if they not already and left in a cold because they was trying to tear up two divine beings who was ordained to be together. You can't tear apart a, a real connection. So we have police in reverse. So y'all did have some type of issue that y'all moved past that happened in the past. Whether that was mental, physical, emotional spiritual abuse i don't know but something serious had happened whether it was altercation or whatever and people was like hoping that then we got police twice this was right up under that one hoping that um the police be involved and there will be somebody locked up behind this situation and circumstances but the most high got it's way of showing you, and the universe got its way of showing you that can't nobody tear nothing down that the Most High has put together. But they most definitely want to steal your uh, gifts and everything else that you have. Thief and gifts. This is a wake-up call, and you must change the way you think and view things. You feel what I'm saying? Don't let people brainwash you into coming into becoming who they want you to become if that makes sense so uh this is a wake-up call for you to raise your vibration to a higher frequency and to uh stand in your power and speak your truth and do and make sure you move in silence don't let none of these people know your moves because they're very codependent on you type shit like you need to let it go, bro. Like, your connection is most definitely uh, 
from the most high. Let me get this love back. This is ordained from the most high, bro. And you can feel that shit, bro. I just seen it's ordained for us to be together. I see no one but you. So this connection, if you were second guessing this connection or have ever second guessed it, the spirit guides, and I'm here to tell you that you have outside forces trying to keep y'all from actually um, reaching y'all highest level of growth in this connection and is in your love life. Have to go through the dark night of the soul. So motherfuckers is going to definitely be going through the dark night of the soul, putting the coal in all types of dark evil nights. This uh, connection is stable and solid and meant to be, so you don't have to question it or doubt it. Only ones that had to worry or question or doubt this or fear this connection was the people on the outside looking in because the connection that they have with their lover or their spouse or whatever the case may be isn't as strong as it, as y'all connection. They trying to figure out how y'all do it. You feel what I'm saying? So I want you back, family and kids, so y'all could have had a family together. And like I said, something happened in the past. To where it brought y'all together and much closer, even stronger, the connection. This was a spiritual lesson, whatever you went through. We share a deep spiritual soul connection. This is what people do not want y'all to have. Release, let go, and decide what it is that you want. So you're releasing and you're letting go of these uh, outside forces and Decide that this is what you want and that this connection is most definitely for both of y'all. You don't have to question. It's destined for us to be together. You feel what I'm saying? So people wanted y'all to break up type shit, but y'all going to get back together if you aren't already or you already passed this stage type shit and motherfuckers could still be trying to keep you down outside forces. This person loves everything about you inside out. You're, they see no flaws in you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, And this is the most difficult thing that they ever had to do. It says, oh my God, this was a difficult decision. You feel what I'm saying? So this means that um they chose you over family and friends and co-workers and whoever was involved in trying to end this connection. They chose you. These people got some blockages and some unhealed wounds. There's going to be... Once you dip out on these people with no warning and then you go MIA... Um, there are going to be some people reaching out with some calls or some text messages saying, what's up? What happened? Through email, whatever way they can to basically figure out what your next moves are and why did you leave or whatever the case may be. So they most definitely, um, going to be fucking trying to reach out and you not... <laughs> You ain't know the shit that they on no more. You on something better, bro. You searching for shit that's that's bigger than what they can see. You know, you knew. Like I said, you've been through some type of abuse in this relationship. And they thought this was going to stop because it says abuse written in all four corners. Mental, physical, spiritual, emotional abuse. This person might have stepped outside the relationship on you type shit. And you decided to stay. But you don't get tired when a motherfucker tell you you tired. You get tired on your own. You feel what I'm saying? Nobody can say you can't change or there can't be reconciliation or things can't go opposite directions or fight and conflict don't happen in relationship. There is no perfect relationship. 2444. 
So with that being said, if you decided to stay and forgive this person, then that's on you. Nobody else outside the relationship should be worried about what the fuck. <laughs> what I say, a co-worker can be involved in trying to even break y'all connection up and it didn't work. So now I'm, I'm, fi I'm getting it. There was an altercation in the past. You in a relationship with somebody. This person works. And there was also a co-worker that tried to set up. To set set y'all relationship up some way, somehow. Get y'all relationship to end. This co-worker. But it didn't work. The spell of the black magic that they tried to put on your love life. Or whatever the case may be. Cause y'all connection to be even stronger because this person never really tried to hurt you purposely. Yeah, you go through shit. People got their own problems and their issues. And you choose to take what you can take in a relationship. But this co-worker who set you up as well because family was involved as well. They thought what they did to cause y'all to get into it physically or whatever altercation that y'all had going on. That it was gonna cause the connection to end, but this coworker is fuck had fucked up. That spell gonna backfire. You feel what I'm saying? When you do evil, ain't no ass whooping like the one from Mr. G. You feel what I'm saying, motherfucker? Uh, you might end up blessed with a sickness. Somebody around you might get sick. You'll lose your money, finances. You'll be left in the cold. Whether that's sick. <laughs> You, whether that's without money, no home, finances, homeless, come on now. This coworker probably already sick. Cancer, um, kidney failure, uh, cirrhosis of the liver. I'm thinking of all types of illnesses that you can have. Could be mental illnesses too. All types of illnesses, bro. Motherfucker had diabetes, high blood pressure, cholesterol. You can have it or the person who try to do this shit can have it. But this person, uh, this co-worker could be on some type of type of meth. This co-worker who tried to end your relationship could secretly be in love with men or was in love with you. If you're in a serious relationship and you're a man, this man who, who's a co-worker could have been in love with you or in love with the fact that the way you love your family, if that makes sense. And that's what they was trying to stop it in. Not just this co-worker, but this uh, family members too. And now motherfuckers having sleepless nights. Or no nights at all. No bed to sleep in at fucking all. All because they was trying to sit up here. And in this relationship that was ordained from the most high. You can't tear apart what the most high put together it could be located in uh texas these friends family members y'all all could be located in, in texas type shit and so yeah um let's see what else we get black magic <laughs> This co-worker tried their best to end this shit. And this could have been your friend. A close friend or just an associate type shit was involved. And they like, damn, how could you? You like, how could you do some shit like that, man? I looked out for you type shit. Creating something new. No limits to what you can do. Move around, man. Relocate. Go to a different city. You feel what I'm saying? Like, talk to your spirit guides, man. Move around if you ain't already. They really wanted this to end. Real talk. <laughs> relationship. Everybody wanted this relationship. Everybody wanted this relationship to end in spirit. Keep telling y'all no. No, no, no. Y'all gonna be left in the cold since y'all wanted this relationship or this connection to be left in the cold. And these people not to have nothing. How dare y'all? 
wish evil on a motherfucker. How dare you? You feel what I'm saying? How dare you wish evil on a motherfucker, bro? You don't get no right. You on drugs and shit. Sex magic on y'all love life and y'all relationship. This co-worker could have been in, uh, into both sexes. Portrayed they self as if they love women a lot. But they love men. Or have a some type of fetish for boys and men. Secretly. Because they had no guidance or no parents in their life. Or they don't have shit. And they sick as fuck. And they think, try to blame you for the shit that they did or what they doing or what they have done. Real talk. These people never gave a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck if they blood or outsiders. They never cared about how you feel. Never. And I keep seeing lawyer. Through the four times I've been past lawyer. So, uh, what I'm getting is, um, Let's let's see what else we get surrounding it. Lawyer. Aries, Leo, Aquarius, and Sagittarius. Uh, so what I'm getting with this lawyer is um once you get the move in a common water and relocate, the situation was so toxic and you got so much proof. And you're going to get this person back who tried to end your relationship and set you up. This co-worker. Because that's a motherfucker you thought will never probably snake you type shit. You never thought they'd be on some shit like that because you pissed off. you like, how could you? You're going to get your lick back type shit. You feel what I'm saying? And you going to lure you the fuck up. You got pictures of this person. You know they birth year type shit. You know what they into. I don't know what the case may be, but we did have set up. So I'm hoping you not trying to or you don't end up trying to <laughs> set this person up. Pray. Read your scripture. You feel what I'm saying? Don't do tick for tack. Don't be a tick for tack ass person. This person gonna get whatever it is that they they that that comes to them. It's gonna be a lesson learned for their ass. They ain't gonna never play with, set up any type of relationship, or try to try to even get in nobody personal relationship or love life after the shit that they gonna experience and the illnesses that they gonna uh come across or whatever the case may be after trying to do all this. This person wears a false mask and is miserable, miserable and a decepticon. So, your uh, spirit guides, one, two, three, four, is encouraging, encouraging you to keep going, to make more progress. Your angels are congratulating you on um, your success. So, once leaving this, you're going to be straight. You feel what I'm saying? You ain't going to have to worry because you're going to have this full ones, new family setting, or whatever the case may be. Let go, go inward. You feel what I'm saying? You're going to be, um, once relocating, you're going to be in nature a little bit more. You're going to be able to use your spirit of discernment a little more. Um, go deeper into who you are. You and your lover. There's going to be a strong connection that most definitely will not break, bend, or fold the most solid con uh, connection or foundation that you can possibly ever have. No one or nothing can stop it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, just focus on the here and the now, bro. Forgive. I know you ain't gonna forget. But like I said, you thought these family members and friends and coworkers loved you or was uh happy for your, uh about your connection but low key envied your connection envied the love that y'all had for each other there's more than one person that's involved we already named all the people 
You feel what I'm saying? This uh, co-worker, man or female, was addicted to sex porn, looking at other men on different websites, tops and bottoms, kids, uh, ass. This person was an ass person, ass man or ass woman. Take what resonate. Lesbian, whatever. Take what resonate. But I'm looking at male energy. Like this was a male who tried to set some shit up. This person would uh, pop pills, do pills, snort pills, do coke, karmics. This person was a hoe, would sleep around with anyone, whether this was uh, the family or the uh, friend or the coworker who set you up. So, also was an alcoholic and a, um, addicted to liquor and was a compulsive liar. Tried to do this maliciously, this whole setup of you losing your relationship and going through altercation with your lover and black magic was involved. This person loves uh, both sexes. Secretly was in love with you or wanted to sleep with you. Fake co-worker. So this co-worker was a ha- behind this shit 100% as well, bruh. A nigga who, or a female who you called your best friend. And they betrayed you. You feel what I'm saying? They betrayed the fuck out you. Brother was involved. Or they had other brothers or males involved in this setup. You feel what I'm saying? You got to take what resonates, but you want something new. You're going to be leaving this career, this job, all this. You're going to be taking your family, snatching them up and relocating. Sacrifice. Manipulate. Wanted your lifestyle, everything about you. Gang stop, bro. <laughs> Real talk. The devil. Capricorn. Energy. Capricorn Virgo Tourist Energy, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, they was unloyal. You feel what I'm saying? Um, a cheater. Uh, we got download in reverse. We got undercover in reverse. Buy twice came out in reverse. So, yes, there was a fight. Is in a relationship, and that person set up some type of demonic situation with two or three or four people, family, and everybody was involved. And they did something to this person to cause this person to abuse you, if that makes sense. But the spell was returned, and ain't nobody having this shit. And this person was definitely was a predator. And if this person would sleep with both sexes, they most definitely would sleep with a kid. Then the sister-in-law was involved. Lover (laughs) put out in the cold. Wanted you, Capricorn, Scorpio. This shit crazy. Shit crazy, bro. So, yep, set up. False match. Bruh, everybody was involved. The neighbor was even involved. Could have been a robber, a robbery type shit. Could have set you up not just to lose your finances. Could have been a robbery involved. And they had your neighbor watch your crib while your shit get kicked in type shit. This shit is all over the place. Brother-in-law involved. Like I said, motherfuckers watching you. So maybe the neighborhood, if somebody was paid in the neighborhood uh, to watch you on camera. Or after the situation was set up and a robbery happened type shit or abuse or whatever this person had did to you in this relationship, they started to put cameras up to watch what the fuck was going on around their crib type shit. But cameras are no cameras. You feel what I'm saying? You, y'all protected. This relationship and connection was most definitely protected. Time to go. 
to the spiritual side, bro, and stay on the spiritual side. So demonic shit like this wouldn't happen. Motherfucker was not loyal at all. Friends or your family or whoever was involved. Y'all both powerful and both worthy of love. So don't think that this connection is most definitely not ordained from the most high. Now they wanted you to be cold with no finances, no money, no sex, no house, no kids. Wanted to exploit kids or whatever the case may be. Do all types of sick shit. Guess what? Their money is finna be stopped. Their finances is going to be stopped. This person was a very dark energy projecting on you how they feel because they wanted the love that you had. Evil. They wanted the love you had and played mind games with you type shit. Kick it with you. Act like they, they fuck with you. Y'all had some drinks type shit, but low key they jealous of how hard you are of a worker. They jealous of how deeply in love you are with the lover that you're with. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe y'all was close before and then once the, this person came in your life, they took over everything. You met some, your soulmate, somebody who you love to spend the rest of your life with eternal life. And they jealous of your spirit and their spirit and their gifts as well. You might add, when they say live on cam, you might add an own platform and they will stalk your platform type shit on the internet just to watch you to envy you and hate and do magic spells and all types of spells but it's we already know you part ways from these uh people connections and people places and things that don't no longer serve you like this job these co-workers and these families members who wanted to end everything that you have you feel what i'm saying you always got that eerie feeling that it was something that you couldn't trust bad energy when it came to this co-worker or these uh friends and family members because everybody was selfish and self-centered nobody cared about nothing but they self but you got a heart made a goal and this was a wake-up call for you so leave these demonic entities behind and motherfuckers is finna be left sad in the cold like we already discussed fake friend fake co-worker what i said is sick so this person is most definitely sick as fuck mentally physically emotionally spiritually they're gonna have some bad news if they haven't already from the doctors telling them how sick they are you feel what i'm saying and how sick that they become and what stages of illness do they have and all that other shit so yeah but this connection is ordained from the most high you don't have to question it